Hi, my name is Mr. D and today I want to take a look at calculating the derivative of an inverse function. So we have let f inverse be the inverse of a differentiable function f. Suppose f of 4 equals 5 and f prime of 4 equals 2 thirds and we need to find the derivative of f inverse at 5. So for this example we want to make use of the following equation and our initial conditions that f inverse is the inverse of a differentiable function f allows us to use this equation. So this tells us that the derivative of f inverse at x equals 1 over f prime at f inverse of x. Now that equation is difficult to say and it's a lot to handle when you're first using it but we just need to break it down piece by piece. We're looking for f inverse, the derivative of f inverse at 5. This is what we want to find and if we use this equation this is equal to 1 over f prime at f inverse of 5. But now we go back to our initial conditions and right away we want to find so we're going to try to find f inverse of 5. But notice that we were not explicitly given what f inverse of 5 was. But we do have that f of 4 is equal to 5. So if we write this out, f of 4 is equal to 5, we could use a basic definition of an inverse function to find out what f inverse of 5 is. All we need to do is take f inverse of both sides. And we'll notice on the left hand side that f inverse of f of 4 is simply equal to 4. By definition, if we plug a function into its inverse, we're going to generate the original input value, in this case 4. So we have that 4 is equal to f inverse of 5. And now this, this information is important for us to solve this problem. So now we think about what we have here. We're trying to find the derivative of the inverse and we're evaluating it at 5. So now we can simplify is equal to 1 over f prime and now instead of f inverse of 5, f, in, f inverse of 5 is equal to 4. So now all we need to find is 1 over f prime of 4. And f prime of 4 was given to us in the beginning of the problem. So we have f inverse, the derivative of f inverse at 5 is equal to 1 over and now f prime of 4 is equal to 2 thirds so we can just make a direct substitution so now we have enough we could write our final answer the derivative of the inverse of f at 5 is equal to and now 1 divided by 2 thirds is equal to 3 over 2 and this is our final answer Okay, well this is going to conclude this video on calculating the derivative of an inverse, of an inverse function. Thank you all for watching and I hope that this was helpful.